One Jacksonville mother wants drivers to keep their eyes peeled for children tomorrow on Halloween night. Her son was killed while riding his bike on while trick or treating. We know last year and she doesn't want another driver to make the same mistake of hitting someone on your side. Tristan Hardy has more this morning on this mother's request. Absolutely, Keitha. Now tomorrow will mark six years since Shannon Johnson's son Shane Reed was killed while riding his bike. Now, whoever hit him did not stop and Johnson doesn't want another parent to go through the heartache that she's been experiencing. Now, Johnson says her 27 year old son was riding his bike on Jacksonville's north side. He wasn't far from his home either. Shane Reed was hit from behind and the person who hit him didn't stop. To this day, no one's been arrested, and while Johnson wants justice for her son, she hopes people will look out for trick-or-treaters tomorrow night. Johnson says drivers should put their phones up and slow down. It's hard, you know, I miss them on a daily basis, and I just don't feel like I can get the cinder blocks off my chest is the best way to explain it. It just feels like there's cinder blocks on my chest, like I can't breathe sometimes. Now, as of October 21st of this year, data from the Florida Highway Safety and Motor Vehicle Show, there have been 355 pedestrian crashes in Duval County alone, and out of those crashes, 32 were fatal. In Jacksonville, I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.